Hey, what's up? This is Brian Pfeiffer with VegasVIPServices.com. And I'm standing here today, guys, in front of Daylight. Okay, you can see in the background here, there's a big sign, Daylight. It is closed right now. It is the winter months, and it's only open during the season, usually March till uh, October. But uh, they do have a really good Latin party here on Saturday nights called Neon Vibra. And the reason I wanted to uh, shoot here to bring this up is because I'm doing a video right now on the best Latin places to go in Las Vegas. So if you're looking for a Latin party, I get asked the question a lot, what's good, what's Latin here in Las Vegas? And uh, the reason I picked daylight here at night because they're going to be doing a big here next year on um, their Latin night. It's called Neon Vibra and expect it to be the probably the number one place to go on Saturday nights for a really good Latin party. Okay, um, so they're going to play that kind of music if that's what you're into. Uh, the tables typically sell out every weekend. They have fairly low minimums, anywhere from 500 to 1,000 to 1,500. I have a link below. They can check the minimums. We do have packages and whatnot if you want to do dinner, limos, men's shows, strip clubs, etc. Uh, for daylight at night. So let's talk about number two on the Latin clubs in Las Vegas, and that's going to be um, Omnia on Sundays. Okay, they have a really good party called Deseco uh, Latin Sunday Party. So if you want to check out a really good Latin night on a Sunday night here in Las Vegas, that's going to be probably Omnia, probably the number one spot on Sunday nights. It's packed. They usually do it on the terrace in the summer months in the heart of Omnia, which is a hip hop club in the in the winter months. But they do play all Latin music on Sunday nights, and it's a packed house. Table minimums are reasonable, thousand bucks on up, and uh, we could definitely set you up over there. Uh, number three on my list for Latin clubs, let's talk about the Azillo uh, pool party, which is um, at night, okay, it's going to be the Azillo Ultra Lounge, but then it opens up into the pool, and they do a Latin party there on Fridays and Saturdays, okay, that was the promoter that used to be over at McFadden's, a Latin guy, nice guy, I've, I've met with him several times. And they do a pretty good uh, Latin party in the, uh, the Zilla Ultra Lounge, and then that opens up into the pool. They're doing anywhere from 800 to 1,000 people every Friday and Saturday. So that's a really good Latin party if you want to check it out. That's at the Sahara Hotel. And uh, I actually did a Latin party with one of my buddies in Chicago. We called it um, the event called Sorry Poppy. It was an all female Latin party. We did it over there at the Azilla Pool last summer, and we'll be doing it again this year. So that was pretty cool. But that's definitely something you guys want to check out if you um, want an upscale Latin party in a you know club here in. Uh, you know, Las Vegas, the Sahara is definitely real nice. They did a really nice job with that build-out. So let's talk about number four on my list, and that's going to be Senior Frogs, okay, at the Treasure Island. They have a um, kind of an open bar thing going on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and uh, it's all Latin music. They do play a little bit of hip-hop as well, uh, but they do have an open bar for like five hours, so it is a really good price. Um, it's a little bit cheaper during the week, and then during the, on the weekends it's a little bit more expensive. Uh, they do have like a female price, male price, so um, we're going to be rolling out all the new pricing for that, so click on the link below. Uh, that's going to be coming up here uh, pretty much every weekend they got that going on even through the winter months uh, but it is a popular destination for a Latin type of crowd all right and then there's a new place uh, that's opened up and it's called El Nierfierno. If you guys know anything about uh, Vegas, there was an old club back in the day. It was a strip club after hours place called Seamless. It's over there by the Orleans Hotel and they're now uh, is operated by the guys that own Hustler, Deja Vu, and Little Darlings. And they're going to be opening that up called El Nierfierno, which is going to be a Latin cabaret strip club. Okay, so that's going to be kind of like one of your. Uh, your options to go on like Fridays and Saturdays here and potentially um, worth checking out. I'm going to actually go over there for the first time that I just opened, okay, so I don't know that much about it, but it's, it's definitely going to be a Latin, you know, cabaret type place on um, clubs, turning into kind of a strip club after hours type of thing. And I believe they have a 24 hour cabaret license so they can have girls topless there and whatnot. So um, definitely worth checking out. Uh, another place to consider is going to be Dre's After Hours on Thursdays only. Now, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, Dre's After Hours is open as well, but it's hip hop. And then they play a little bit of Latin on the one side, but it's not really a Latin party. Thursdays, they kind of focus in on the Latin party on the main room, and it's mostly, there's a little bit of hip-hop, but it's mostly Latin on Thursday nights. So if you're into Latin, you're in town on Thursday, it's probably where you want to go. Trey's after hours uh, for the Latin party Thursday nights. And then my final uh, Latin party that I want to talk about is the uh, Embassy Nightclub, okay? It's going to be more of a like a la locals Latin party. Just, just off the strip, it used to be in a strip club called Jaguars back in the day, I think it was. And then they turned it into a place called House After Hours. That failed. And uh, Embassy's been going strong for like seven years. Now, they were really doing well Fridays and Saturdays, especially during COVID, because they kind of had lax restrictions over there, because uh, they're not in a casino. And then um, they kind of lost a little bit of momentum because it closed for like several months when someone supposedly brought the, bought the building, and then the building ended up not getting sold people lost their escrow or whatever, and then the guys that still owned and had an embassy nightclub and stuff in there, they're back to running it again, okay? Now, they reopened on Fridays and Saturdays, kind of did 
you know, kind of crappy on Fridays. Uh, so now they're just open Saturdays. But I would imagine next season they're probably going to come out and do uh, you know the Friday Saturday combo uh, for Latin. And on Fridays they do Latin in the side room and hip hop in the main room. On Saturdays they swift flip flop it and do the Latin in the main room and then the hip hop in the side room. Okay, so that's going to be a fairly inexpensively priced. We have guest list uh, options over there as well as bottle service packages and whatnot uh, for NBC nightclubs. So those are kind of like the top um, Latin places. You know, some of the, the clubs like a Chateau and uh, maybe like On the Record and even Jewel. Um, those kind of places play what's called open format. So you can find some Latin music at those type of places, but it's going to be a mix of hip-hop, Top 40, EDM, and, um, and Latin and all those places. You know, even like a foundation room um, and some of the rooftop places like a ghost bar. Um, you're going to hear a little bit of Latin music, but it's not going to be like a Latin night. Okay, so th those are the main Latin parties. Um, I do have packages, like I said. I'm going to put my cell phone above, 773-459-8133. If you have any questions about these Latin parties, or you want to check out some of our packages, uh, we have packages that include limos, dinners, men's shows, strip clubs for the guys, men's shows for the ladies. Uh, we you know, do a ton of bachelor and bachelorette parties, so um, we have tons of different packages. We can kind of mix and match anything and make your night amazing and include a Latin party in your in your mix here if that's what you're into. Uh, we also do daytime stuff. Um, there's not really any Latin pool parties right now uh, that I know of. That they may, they may come out with something. They may turn Elia Beach into that or a chaos or something, but I don't know. As of right now, I don't have any Latin pool parties, uh, but we do like drag brunches and we do shooting and top golf and that kind of stuff. So if you want to do some fun stuff during the Day, like pole dancing for the ladies and then you want to come out and do like a dinner and stuff in Latin night um, at one of these venues we can definitely set that all up so I'm Brian Pfeiffer hopefully you guys enjoyed my video um, about the uh, Latin clubs in Las Vegas make sure you like this video if you like the content and uh, subscribe to this channel for more and uh, make sure you bang that notifications bell so you get notified about my next video uh, I'm gonna sign out here from daylight at night even though it's not open but daylight at night the neon viber party and uh, we'll talk to you later I'm Brian Pfeiffer from Las Vegas bye